The things that we notice in the markets are very disturbing from a social justice point of view and from a, um, a moral point of view globally because during this recession, and again we track these things, we have seen a huge rise in the following um, issues. Number one, very fast rise in human trafficking. Um, we thought up until last year that there were about 30 to 35,000 people a day trafficked into modern day slavery. It appears to us, and we've done a lot of work with the ILO, the IOM, uh, various human trafficking organizations, the numbers could be up in the 60,000 a day level of people being trafficked around the world to be used as commodities, mainly in prostitution. So that's number one. The second one is a huge rise in the number of displaced migrant workers, especially in places like the, the Middle East for construction, where the construction companies have closed down because of the economic crisis, and these workers who are stateless, uh, they have no ID cards, are just sitting outside of places like Dubai in the desert with no food and no water. And we see on a global basis in Indonesia as well, uh, places in Malaysia, in Pakistan, in the Middle East and Africa, a huge rise in displaced workers that have gone from their home country to somewhere else uh, to get some decent work. The next one is a huge and very fast acceleration of what we call social bifurcation in the major countries of the world. Social bifurcation means that the people at the bottom of the pile are getting less opportunity to become literate, to go into learning, to get some skills and to be able to further their way in the world of work. This bifurcation used to be bridged by working class into middle class into fairly wealthy people at the top of the, the triangle. Uh, that's not happening anymore. It looks to us like the middle class and upper class are accelerating away from an underclass in most of the countries that we operate in, everywhere from South Africa to China to India, and indeed in many, many European countries, we see this huge number of people at the bottom of the pyramid who are long-term unemployed, who have no access to learning, training, and are becoming increasingly marginalized in society. So we think that's a huge problem. And the last big trend that I would like to mention is the huge and fast rise in youth unemployment on a global basis. The very fast rise of people underneath the age of 23 who can't find work, who are becoming the long-term unemployed, who will never find their way into the world of work, is very, very disturbing.